Hey, and welcome into my vlog. In this video, I'm going to speak only in English for you guys because I think I don't only have German people who are watching my videos, but also international ones. And I think they should also understand what I'm saying. So that's why I'm going to talk in English for now. At least in this video, I'm going to talk about some kind of symptoms about autism that includes myself in this video. I do have overloads, meltdowns and shutdowns. I'm currently in Turkey. I had it like two or three times in the whole month. That's not much, I know, but I think the environment here is much better than in Germany for me. That's why I'm having it less than usual. So yeah, let's talk about my symptoms. Let's talk about the first symptom. I'm not really able to understand sarcasm or irony. Well, at least if someone is sarcastic or ironic to me, towards me, at least mostly I can't tell when someone is using these kind of methods to communicate with me. Well, that doesn't mean I don't understand irony or sarcasm because I'm using it myself. I know that sounds unbelievable, but it's the truth. I'm sarcastic and uh, ironic all the time. I don't have many friends as the next symptom. I don't really have the feeling of uh, needing one or many. I'm perfectly fine alone. It's quite the opposite for me. If I have to spend my time with someone else, if I have to be there for him, because it's exhausting myself, and I need a lot of time for myself to keep calm. Especially when I'm in an overload or even worse, in a meltdown. Yeah. Um, the third symptom which includes me is masking. I learned masking early in my childhood because I was bullied for the way I was acting. I was like shaking my hand all the time or behaved unusual for other kids at least. At least uh, for me it was usual, like normal, but um, other kids didn't think like that. There was a, especially one kid who liked uh, to uh, observe me a lot and uh, when he discovered something weird or funny, he made fun of me. It's not like I, I wasn't strong or anything like that, but I wasn't uh, really the type to uh, hurt other people. That's why I never hit this person. And I think uh, it's not my type to be a gruesome person. So yeah, that's uh, the one way. I learned masking early. I was like, I don't know, maybe eight years old when I started to ad adapt myself to the environment, changing my behaviors, mirroring my opposite behaviors and trying to act like the other people I see are surrounding me. I, I was starting to think what would be the next move, what should I do if if I do this, would be would that be right? If if I do that, would that be wrong? Some, something like that. I, I was overthinking a lot, and I'm still doing that in the current time. But I start to just taking off the mask. I have some kind of rituals 
not not here but in the kitchen i i, I kind of uh, am like uh, collecting a lot of half full bottles of soda and i don't know why i'm doing that maybe because i like to uh, drink something fresh and when i open up the bottle it's not fresh anymore the further i drink the less carbon acid like the thing the, the stuff you have in cola or um, in other soda stuff i don't know what's what it's called in english so please don't uh, judge me so uh, yeah that's why i'm collecting all the bottles or cans and um Yeah, it happens that uh, because I don't uh, touch the other stuff I already opened, it happens. Imagine it like this, you're opening a bottle, you're drinking uh, some stuff out of it, and then you're leaving it on a table and you open another, another bottle and 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 you have a lot of bottles on the table uh, staying on the table so yeah that's why i'm calling it collecting i was getting uh, scolded by my dad because of that and he said uh, i'm crazy and uh, some stuff like that so yeah that's one thing then i have some routines i'm uh, praying a lot five times a day I'm a Muslim, alhamdulillah. If something on my routine changes unexpectedly, I get uh, very stressed out and maybe and the possibility of getting inside of an overload is pretty high, so I prefer not to get any changes in my routines. Yeah, I like to repeat some words like blub or aha or yeah 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 um i think that's called ecolalia or perseveration i don't know if uh, what's the term in english i, I know it's perseveration in german if someone knows what uh, the the right what the right translation for um Perseveration is, you can write that down in the comments. That will help me a lot. I will be thankful. I'm stimming a lot. Like, really a lot. I'm constantly feeling my hands, rubbing my hands together, or um, pushing my nails into my hand. I don't know, it's kind of relaxing for me. I do it subconsciously. I have a lot of trouble looking, having uh, eye contact with someone else. I can, however, look into the eyes of someone else, but if the other individual is looking back into my eyes, I kind of get nervous and I look away from the person. Sometimes I, I kind of adapted to it a bit if i'm honest i sometimes i can look into the eyes of someone but um yeah it's uh, getting troublesome for me at least i feel really nervous when i'm doing that and i can't concentrate on what i'm going to tell the person rather than concentrate on looking into the eyes of the person and then uh, there's a other symptom which uh, includes m myself too which is uh, not being able to describe any emotions at least uh, the sub sub subtle emotions um, I need uh, to feel an excessive amount of emotion to uh, be able to know what kind of emotion I'm feeling. Uh, if it's really slightly, I don't know, I can't uh, really describe it. And 
the next uh, symptom which uh, is also present in autistic people is sounding really monotone if you speak constantly at the same pitch of your voice and if you kind of sound like a robot or, or robotic that's what monotone means i think that was it at least these are the only symptoms which came into my mind while recording this video maybe there are more, more symptoms but i didn't uh, include them in this video i'm sorry for that if that uh, is the case but yeah um if you guys like this video please leave a like you can also leave a dislike if you want um share this video and um, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos in English regarding um, autism. Alright, see you in the next video guys. Peace.